Hey, hey. How's everybody doing out there? Welcome to our hump day broadcast here. Mega Bar Bingo Happy Hour Jackpot Hunter Edition. We are super excited to be here with you guys. We got just over a half a minute left to get oh, yeah. in this first game. And uh, good to have everybody out there. Look at that major jackpot now. At uh, It's at 51 balls there. $13,763. Dollars that miners at two thousand three hundred fifty three all uh, three dollars and it's at fifty four balls. Uh, I'm looking for a jackpot to go out tonight. I oh think yeah! From what I understood, if I heard uh, the what Tony was saying correctly, when that mega uh, jackpot gets up to one hundred ten thousand, I think that okay. that's going up to forty eight balls. Woohoo! And that so. is that's winnable territory. Yeah, forty eight balls. Uh, well, yeah. Just uh, earlier today, when uh, at Vikings Bingo, Greg. At Holdings, Holdingford Municipal Liquor Store, won ten thousand oh. dollars. Hit that in forty-nine balls. Okay, so, I, yeah. obviously that's close enough. To, yeah. to tell you, forty-eight balls is within reach. Yes, it is. So there we go. The balls are falling here in this game number one. That must go is at eighty-two dollars. Of course, if you can hit this in fifty-one balls, you get the major, the minor. And the Musco. If you hit in 47, you get the Mega, the Major, the Minor, and the Musco all wrapped up in one. So uh, that is a good deal there. I see a bunch of our regular players like Yags370, DLD, Bingo Bob, Cookie, Crazy with a K, and Gunner all out there playing. Good to see everybody out there. Oh, yeah. I see Robin FBI. Oh. I oh. wonder if Robin actually works for the FBI. Yeah, does Robin work for the FBI, or is he robbing the FBI? Oh. Oh, in a little wordplay. Yeah, it could be a situation. Well, <laughs> earlier today, we had uh, we had Curtis and Amelia talking about, like, when they have, when the secrets, like, when we know there's stuff coming out and we can't tell them yes. about it, like, when we knew that the relationship with the Minnesota Wild was happening yeah. and all that, and we couldn't tell them, they were like... Well, you know, it's uh, we got all these secrets and we can't tell and all this. And, and I said to him, well, you guys are like secret agents, I guess. And, that, <laughs> uh, and then they were like, we really are like secret agents and all that. And then now I see the FBI out there playing. So we may be getting I know. There was enough. there was one time during our uh, broadcast where I knew that there was we were getting a partnership with the Minnesota Wild. Uh -huh. And somehow hockey got brought up. Oh. And I literally was – this close to saying it oh, was this close to yeah. saying it just because I was just like, oh, and like our partnership with the Minnesota Wild, like that's yeah, going to yeah, be yeah. awesome with the <laughs> hockey, blah, blah, blah. Right. And then, um, and then yeah. I was like, I caught myself right before. Well, that's good. Well, we are into that must go of $82.60. Uh, looking forward to uh, getting that out to somebody. Uh, There's Mrs. C and Sarah. Taking that uh, Musco prize, uh, Mrs. C's over at Eagles Owatana, and Sarah is at South End Bar and Grill. Congratulations to both of them, and we're getting into game number two here on a Hump Day broadcast. We're super excited to be with you guys, and tonight, another special thing that we've got, right, is uh, instead of the Nikki Network tonight, oh. we've got the Tony Telephone. The uh, Tony Telephone! Coming in hot! On the broadcast here on a hump day, and so uh, if we can get all of the the interesting secrets See from it. Tony, we're no longer we're not Nikki's angels tonight. We no. are we're Tony something. Tony's Titans. Tony's uh, Titans. Uh, Tony's Tony's Tigers. Tony's I don't uh, know. We're, have you got ideas? Check in with us on Facebook. Uh, usually we get uh, some kind of a message from Yags370 while we're doing it. We want to send you some luck. Anyways, anybody that checks in with us. But if you got a, a good name for us here with Tony on the headset, uh, then uh, let us know. So, oh, oh yeah. Tony's telemarketers he's, that Tony's oh, suggesting. Oh, <laughs> Tony's telemarketers. I like that. Well, what do you want us to sell, Tony? If uh, we're your telemarketers, we'll try to sell something up here. Uh, selling a good time, that's for sure, here in a happy hour. Just under a minute and a half uh, to go here in uh, getting enrolled in game number two. Uh, got a couple of winners there in game number one. And uh, we should go over those Mega Bar Bingo player stands because there's been oh, some Yeah, movement. there's been switch-ups. Yeah. And uh, those uh, Mega Bar Bingo player standings. In ninth place, we have a tie between Andy and Mickey. Yes. Then in eighth place, we have Forget You D. 
Then getting out that tie with Forget You D is Wolfstein at fifth place, tying up with Towley and Mrs. T. Yes. So big movement right there. They're all tied at 13,000 points. Mm -hmm. Then in fourth place, we have Michelo, who's only 1,000 points behind Yags 370 in third place. Then in second place, we have Mrs. Yags. And in first place, we have Spanky. All right. Hey, and Yags says he wants to win before the games get shut down. Uh, yeah. Yags says happy hump day. Well, hey, let's let's send some luck Oh to yeah. Yags. Uh, before they shut down, we'll try to get you a win right now. And happy hump day. There you go. There you go. All right. There you have it. Well, um, yeah, Mrs. Yags now... Like you say, only 2,000 behind Oh, Spanky. yeah. So uh, that is exciting. And Michelob trying right on Yags 370's heels. So hopefully uh, they both get some wins tonight. Uh, and yeah. that fifth place spot is really up for grabs right now yeah. between those three players. I mean, oh yeah, Wolf, Wolfstein, Towley, and Mrs. T all tied at 13,000 points. Any, yeah. any three of those guys could come out of it if they just get a win right here tonight. I mean, it's 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 – Intense. It is. The pressure is on. It's on the streets. Oh, the heat is on. <laughs> it's on the streets. All right, we got uh, some Mega Bar Bingo location standings as well. There's a little bit of shakeup there, I think. Let's see. Yeah, uh, we got uh, in tenth place. We got a tie between Underground Bar and Grill in Mankato and St. Cloud Eagles in ninth place. VFW Austin in eighth place. Monty's Sports Bar Spring Lake Park. In sixth place, BFW Brooklyn Park. In fourth place, American Legion Fridley. In the, so that used to be uh, a tie between BFW Brooklyn Park and the Bar Hastings, right? In in fifth place, now BFW Brooklyn Park is sixth place. The Bar Hastings has got fifth place all to themselves. Ah, uh, and they're just one thousand behind Eagles Awantana in third place. Then Neeson's Gaylord is up to thirty. 7,000 points in second place. But Carboni's Pizza CR Billiards in Coon Rapids is all the way up to 53,000 points now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, so that is the top 10 players and locations in the state of Minnesota in Mega Bar Bingo. We are into that. Uh, let's see. No, we got one more. Let's see if we get it. Minor. No, we're into that must go. $90.60. Sense here in game number two on a hump day, uh, and we will see how this all plays out. But the PGL standings, oh, some serious. Yes, I shake mean up. with the two days that we had in a row of PGL point winners. Yes, I mean there was there had to be a switch up that oh, happened. Oh yeah, there's Slappy over at oh. Carboni's Pizza, CR Billiards, Slappy. One of our just outside the top just ten. One of those players right outside the top ten was in the top ten not too long ago. Yeah. Uh, getting the win could boost him into that top ten. Love Good to job, see. Slappy. Yeah, I don't know exactly where Slappy's at outside the top top ten, but he may jump in. We'll see. It definitely, if he gets a second win, I think he would he would be there. I don't. I, oh yeah. He's he's fairly close. So we got just under two and a half minutes to get rolled in game number three here on a Hump Day broadcast happy hour well i couldn't be happier than to be here for happy hour oh yeah no i mean playing some bingo with you guys always a great time absolutely especially with some big jackpots oh. with that 13 almost fourteen thousand dollar major and yeah. that two thousand five hundred and ninety three dollar minor I yes. mean, it's it's a fun day. It is. Well, I'm hoping we'll just get somebody to hit it 51 balls, take both with them, and uh, just, you oh, know, yeah, just ride off in the, into the sunset. Yeah, go on their merry way on this wonderful hump day. That's right. That's right. That's how you celebrate a hump day is win a <laughs> bunch of money. So, uh, well, we have a few national days today. we got like four of them today. Oh. So uh, we got some fun ones. Yeah. Well, uh, one of them. Uh, I think with your your mother would uh, classify as one of these. Oh, good yeah. job, mom. Yeah, we'll see. He goes National Education Support Professionals Day honors the contribution of school support employees. These support professionals provide invaluable services and are essential partners in the children's education process. She works in a counselor's office yeah, yeah. at the local high school. So, yep, so that, uh, I think that would qualify her. So I, I have to uh, maybe pick up some flowers on my way home. Yeah, you know. be like, here, it's your day. Yeah, it's your day. 
Uh, you know, and if any of you guys work as supporting uh, people in a school in the school system, a little bit of luck to you guys. We'll stack you some luck. Boom. There are a whole bunch right. of luck for all you uh, Ugh, there we school go. education support professionals. That's right. Luck going to you for sure. We've got just about 30 seconds left to get enrolled in this game number two. Right? Oh, yeah. It's no, game number three. Three. I'm going to get behind. I think it's game number three. I think so. Things are... Things are unraveling yeah. fast. Though, I know. Boy. We're. I mean, being <laughs> being uh, usually Nikki's angels, we're a little bit off pace. Being yeah, Tony's telemarketers. I know. Tell Tony's telemarketers don't get quite the same amount of information. So. <laughs> 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 Nikki's angels do. Here we go. We got uh, two seconds to go, and we are dropping the ball. Oh yeah. Well, we <laughs> there's a there's a there's a pretty important national day today. Yes. It's. Yes. It's flipping Mickey Mouse's birthday. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> I know. It's craziness. It's, I mean, the wonderful mouse that we mouse all in love uh, commemorates the debut of a lovable mouse that once, <laughs> that was once a rabbit called Oswald. Oh. Uh, his character got his start in, on the film on uh, November 18th, 1928. Okay. Uh, but before that, the story begins in 1927 when the Walt Disney first sketched the floppy-eared bunny uh, while under contract to Universal Studios. The event that unraveled brought us Mickey Mouse. There you go. Yeah. So he couldn't use the rabbit because he was under contract with Universal. So he basically took the same character and just made him a mouse. Yeah. And yeah. there was the birth of Mickey Mouse. Yes. Yes, it is. So, happy birthday, Mickey. That's a pretty cool story, though. Yeah. I miss... I haven't been to uh, to Disney World in a long time. Oh, it's been years for me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think I the mean, last time you went, I yeah, went. Yeah, we both went together. Yeah. You know, it was a pretty cool time. <laughs> yeah. Actually, we went to Disney on... Uh, well, I didn't go. Uh, but you guys went to Disney when uh, on my senior year spring break. Oh, yeah. So you were with us, but you decided not to go because yeah, we only had a limited I, number of folks that could go. Uh, no, what happened? What oh. happened was we decided to go out to the Florida Sun. Oh, and you, know, you got burned. I was like, I was like, okay, like, I'm used to this Michigan Sun. Right. And so I was like, you know what? I can handle the Sun. I never get That's burnt in Michigan. Yeah. And so I just used some ASBF, and I'm like, you know what? I'm good. Like, I only need to apply this, like, twice today. <laughs> and so then I get back to the – Back to uh, our hotel room that we're staying at, Lobster and time. I am a tomato. Hey, so look at that. Uh, not to interrupt you, but Poogie just oh, got yeah. the win over at Eagles of Wontana. That's that must That's goal. two wins for Eagles of Wontana. Nice, and that's $112.80 for Poogie. Uh, shove that in your pocket, Poogie, and uh, enjoy your hump day. Uh, yeah, Eagles of Wontana, one of our top locations, and if they've already got two wins today, oh yeah, then that means... Because they, they were, where you see, Eagles of Wontown's in third, but they had had uh, they had had American Legion Fridley get right on their heels, only a thousand away. Oh, oh yeah. two wins that would push them to yeah, three thousand. They're, yeah. yeah, they're only uh, uh, four thousand behind Neeson's Gaylord in second place, so that would bring them within reach yeah. uh, for Neeson's Gaylord as well. Yeah. Um, and we're getting enrolled in game number four. Wow. There we go. Well, but to uh, finish my uh, yeah. getting burnt to uh, to a crisp like yes. a lobster, so I get burnt like a tomato. Yeah, I, it's me and me and my sister. We're both just absolutely burnt. I'm a little bit more burnt than the other. I get like sin, uh, sun poisoning, and yeah. I'm having to stay home while the rest of the family went out to Disney World, <laughs> and I'm just curled up in my bed, constantly applying aloe to my skin. Yeah, and that was yeah. He was a senior. He was 18. Uh, so uh, we had a nice condo that we were. In yeah, it was super fun. Yeah, I forgot someone let us borrow it actually because they yeah. had like a half year lease with it or something. Yeah, well, they had a timeshare thing and they couldn't go there and use it. And so uh -huh. then they, they said that uh, it actually uh, worked out that, you know, that we could just go and, and all that. Oh, yeah, it was so a super awesome trip. With, yeah. I know we got to connect up with a, a couple friends that we used to know back when we lived in Arizona. In Ohio, yeah. That he had worked for the state of Ohio as a computer guy. Uh, and had uh, worked there until basically he had gotten oh. enough to be able to retire enough years uh -huh. in the state. And so then 
his dream was always to work for uh, Disney. And so okay. he uh, applied for a job uh, as a computer guy for Disney and uh, got the job. That's cool. That's fitting so with up. the whole entire uh, Mickey Mouse's birthday. Yeah, that's full circle there. Full Mickey Mouse circle. Birthday. There we go. Uh, full mouse ears uh, back <laughs> to it's. Mickey Mouse's flipping birthday, so uh, celebrate, have a drink on Mickey, and play a little bingo. Well, we're in our, we're about 30 seconds away from the quad game getting rolling here. One of our special games on a hump day. We are always excited about this game, and we got a lot of big games coming up. Game number five after this has been a real super lucky game, and uh, then of course the never mentioned uh, couple of games that come up. Oh after yeah, that. I mean so, they're lucky games. Yeah, lucky, lucky games. But here we go. Yeah, uh, good to see 102 people enrolled right now. Only five seconds to get enrolled. So if you're hesitating on pushing and getting enrolled, do it now. There you go. Okay, there. We are rolling. Well, look at that major. I mean, I'd get enrolled. It's $14,000 if you can get this in 51 balls. Of course, you would also win the minor, which is uh, starting to creep up. Well, it's $2,749.50. Once that clicks over to $3,000, if we don't hit it beforehand, that'll go to 56 balls the very next game. But we got a must-go of $113.60 as well. So a lot of money out there on the line, and uh, I see a bunch of our big-time players out there getting after it. Good to see Mrs. Jacks. The funk. He got the funk. Gotta have that funk. Got Dynasty, uh, got Lucky Me, got a bunch of you guys out there playing, so it's great to be with you. Well, uh, not only is it uh, Mickey Mouse Day, um, it's also National Princess Day. Oh! Perhaps you know a princess who shines because of her gift of laughter, making everyone around them smile. Maybe your princess shows her royal nature by her great acts of kindness and heart of gold. Or your princess may be bold and confident, ready to take on every new challenge. Well, any which way, happy National Princess Day to all of our princesses out yeah. there. If you got a princess sitting near you, uh, buy him a, a beverage and uh, wish him luck on playing some bingo. Uh, so, uh, yeah, because it's, it's Princess Day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I saw uh, Rikisha out there. Been seeing Rikisha a lot on her leaderboard. I haven't seen Michelob. Of course, Michelob... Uh, Rakisha's Michelob's husband. So there's Towley 2020. Uh, I don't know if that's the Towley uh, that's in our oh leaderboard. You know, if you win Towley uh, and that's you with the Towley 2020, make sure you let us know that that's you because yeah, we, maybe, we don't want to not get you. Or your maybe points. it's just his publicist letting people know that he's running for he's running for, for president office. Of office a little bit late. May, I don't know if he's running for like president or like maybe just like a bingo president. Maybe. Might be yes, he's the president of bingo. Yeah, he's trying to be the president. I saw Fletch out there. I know Tony's going to be happy with Fletch there out there playing. There is Bar and T-Money and Jimmy all taking that uh, must-go prize of $113.60. Uh, T-Money's at Trapper's Bar and Grill. Jimmy's at Broadway Bar, and Bar is at the Bar Hastings. Nicely done, and that means we are done with our quad game, and we're getting into lucky game number five of 13. That has been super lucky the last few weeks. We've given out a few jackpots on game number five, so we'll see if that trend continues. We got just over two minutes to get enrolled in this next game, and so yeah, Tony just uh, confirmed. He is super excited that Fletch is with us playing uh, one of his favorite <laughs> movie stars. So uh, there we go. Well, we're down to our last national day. And if you want to take it, I did give the pronunciation on it because it's not an easy word you're just looking at. To know how yeah, to yeah. It. I first started looking. I was like, you want me to try to say this. Ah. But then I saw the pronunciation yeah. was right there. Um, national Vichy Soise. Yes. Vichy Soaz. Vichy Soaz. Yeah, that's, that's how big, I say it. That's, that's how Vichy I say it. Vichy Soaz. Yeah. Um, made with thick pureed leeks, onions, potatoes, cream, and chicken stock. Uh, uh, <laughs> Vichy, Vichy Soaz uh, is traditionally served cold, through uh, some t though sometimes is eaten hot. I, I tell you what, for me, for soup, I want soup hot. 
I, oh I yeah, like I'm not a cold soup. I don't feel like many Americans are cold soup people. I think yeah. we tend to be a, a warm soup. I think other countries, you know, will drink their beer warm and they'll they'll eat their soup cold. And I want my beer cold and my soup warm. They drink they drink their beer warm. Yeah, like in Europe, they drink the beer warm. That's interesting. No, yeah, no, yeah. I I do not enjoy that. No, no, I'm a I'm a cold beer man. Yes, that's for sure. I mean, it, to be able to. Just, like, drink for pleasure, drink a warm beer doesn't sound like a actual possible thing. But, I mean, I guess if Europeans That's what do you're used what you, to. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. Well, we're not Europeans. Yeah, you but, know. you know. That's like the Princess Day. We talked about it today, you know, because uh, you know, uh, Amelia was disappointed that it didn't have to do with the actual royal family because she's really in to the royal family okay. and then Curtis was like who cares about the royal family and I said in the producer's chat like yeah that's why we split from England is we don't care about the royal family we're Americans <laughs> we're Americans <laughs> yeah we're America right here here we go that's why we don't have metric system <laughs> and we don't care about the royal family because we're Americans alright here we go <laughs> if you like hearing about the royal family <laughs> I'm just messing around so here we go we got balls Falling here in our game oh, number five. I saw the Bears out there probably a little upset with how the Vikes played against them uh, this week. Yeah, I, I'm hoping that Nick Foles is going to be uh, okay. He got carted off there at the end yeah. of the game. What I've heard uh, is he's good. Yeah, that's what they're saying, that it was it was a uh -huh. minor injury. Just kind of more worried because his back was hurting. So, um, But, hey, there's Fast Eddie out there. Uh, I think he did my taxes a few years ago. <laughs> that does sound like <laughs> – Hey, we got still here and Candy Buttons out there playing as well. So uh, it, I, everything. Wow, is we got good. yeah, we got a lot of big time players joining in um, with us right now. And there's Fletch again. Uh, Tony said that he, yeah, yeah, Fletch, aka Nostradamus, and Claude Henry Clayton Smoot. Uh, so uh, yeah, if you've never seen the movies uh, Fletch, I haven't seen the movies it, Fletch. I I personally recommend it. I I love the Fletch movies. I think Tony would personally recommend it as well. I, as well, yeah, for sure, for oh. sure. Well, uh, yeah, there's uh, Tolly 2020. He's definitely running for something. We're gonna try to figure out what Tolly's running for here this year because it's not like a future election. He's running for it in 2020, yeah. so I don't know what he's running for. It may be Bingo King. Uh, since it is Princess Day, uh, maybe he's trying to be Bingo King. I don't know if you can win a king, uh, though. So maybe like uh, Bingo Chancellor. I don't know. Bingo. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, and he does say he de definitely recommends watching both of them. Yes, both of them. There's two. There's definitely two. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I've watched. I've watched both. It's been some years though. I yeah, need to rewatch. I might have it. to. Might have to rewatch it. Yeah, for sure. Uh, well, that is all of our national days. So uh, make sure you raise a glass to anyone that's associated with any of those. And uh, yeah, and we're into our must go. And that's Mrs. Yags winning that must go. That means. She's just, I think that just means she just closed the gap to 1,000 oh, points. 1,000 points with Spanky. Uh, she's, if she hits another win tonight, she'd be tied up with Spanky. We'll see if so that happens. So get out there, Mrs. Yags, and play some bingo and pass Spanky for that first place spot. That's right, Yags 370. You're going to have to put the foot on the gas, brother. Uh, yeah. you got to get something yeah, done. Yeah, or you're getting left in the dust. Right. <laughs> She's over there. She's waving at you in the rear view mirror. Hey, I'm moving on. Uh, she is going right now. So she's like, I'm about to get spanky. Uh, <laughs> there we go. So we are a rolling, getting enrolled in game number six uh, of 13 here on a hump day broadcast. We got just under two minutes left to get enrolled in this game. That major now, look at that, $14,292. We did go over 3,000. Uh, that means the next game, if we do not hit that minor in this game, that means that minor is going to go up to 56 balls Ooh, on the and very that's, next that's game. And that's just a matter of time. You know, and that is, well, and just think about that. You know what game that is. It's the non-mentionable game. Oh, but, yeah. Because yeah. we're going, it's game six, this one. Yeah, so game seven on a hump day broadcast. I we mean, all know what that means. I mean, I'm right. sure Yags370 knows what we're yes. talking about. Yeah. And yeah. you guys will soon once we get in, started enrolling. If anybody in asks for extra luck for that broadcast on that 56 ball fresh on our 
game, then you can send that, and we will send that to you. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, uh, let's get started on those celebrity birthdays. We must. Who was the famous people that were born today? In uh, 1908, Imogen Coca, uh, actress and comedian, was born. I'm not familiar with Imogen. No, and I'm not even familiar if that's the way you pronounce. How would you say? I don't know. That just seems how he's... Imogene? I-M-O-G-E-N-E. -E. Yeah, I don't know. Imogen? I, that's, he's actress, so I'm... Um, I've only heard the name. I've heard the name Imogen before, so okay. I, I just assume that's how you, you would spell Imogen. I, I never have heard that name before, so yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's there. a... Your knowledge well, is above mine. Well, happy birthday, Coca. Uh, either way. Yeah, and, uh, she was in uh, your show of shows. Um, Admiral Broadway. Uh, National Land. That one oh, was that like vacation? Oh, that's with yeah, Chevy Chase. Yeah. yeah, he's on. A oh, what was she in? What was she, I wonder what role she played in that. I have no clue. Born at I that think time, it would be way too hard for me to figure yeah, it out. Yeah, it must have been like the grandma or something. Because yeah. she, she would have been pretty old. Uh, there we go. Well, it all comes back to Chevy Chase at the end. That's how it all goes. So, uh, well, I'm going to look here. Oh, born on this day in 1918 uh -huh. is Cameron Mitchell, another actor. Yeah, do you know Cameron Mitchell? No. I do not know Cameron Mitchell as well. I may once we see the picture of Cameron Mitchell. Well, we're already 15 balls here in game number six on a hump day broadcast. That must go is it's sitting at $122.60. Okay, I don't know Cameron Mitchell from his pictures, but he was in... Looks uh, like he's a cowboy. Yeah, a cowboy actor was in the movie uh, The Tall Men, um, yeah. How to Marry a Millionaire. Um, let me think. Love me or leave me? Oh, hey, hey, we gotta send them some extra luck to Yax because he's okay. feeling dejected. It's his turn. Here we go. Okay, yeah, yeah you know, we did say get some luck for these upcoming games. There's That's your right. luck, Yax370. Hopefully, you can get a win so then you can close that gap between uh, he's got you and Mrs. Yax. Double luck today. We said, oh, I mean, he's gotten advice. two lucks, all kinds of lucks all over. Yeah, towards you. Yeah, it is a rolling. Well, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, Cameron Mitchell, he's the he's a cowboy. He's the real McCoy. Um, let's see. Yeah, here's uh, Tony sending some additional information about. Oh, I, I think I, I do recognize her once I see. Yeah, she was the grandma in oh. uh, vacation. I mean, uh, this is a picture of a much younger uh, uh -huh. uh, you know, time for her, but yeah, that she was the grandma in uh, Vacation, uh, National Lampoon's Vacation uh, movies. So there you go. So uh, there we got Cookie. Uh, let's see, still here. Dusty Road, Brian, Joe Harley, Radar, bunch of our big time players. There's Bud Light TM. Uh, they trademarked their Bud Light name. There's one of our big time players out there, Drum Skeet. At the Underground Bar and Grill in Mankato, taking a win. That is our must-go, $122.60. That means, that's right, we are getting enrolled in game number seven on a hump day. Okay. So once that rolling screen comes up, you're you're, you're going to hear. It. You're going to find out why this game is so lucky. That's it's right. more than just it being game number seven. It is. It's hump game on a hump day. It That's is. what it is. It is and we are excited to play some freaking bingo. Here we go. <laughs> it's a double hump camel game, as we like to call it around here on the mothership. Uh, usually brings the monkey bucks right down the hallways here in the mothership. Oh, yeah. Uh, I got to get you a captain's hat. Uh, so you can be a monkey muck. I would love to become a monkey muck. Yeah, you then know. you can you can have the captain's hat. But I, I don't don't want people to think that we're Captain and Tennille. And <laughs> that's a '70s music reference. But uh, and I'm I don't look anything like Tennille. So here we go. Uh, <laughs> um, she was a lovely singer, and I well not, you know. well uh, here's the next celebrity birthday. This is a good one. This is a good yeah. One here. Uh, Alan Shepard, astronaut and first American in space. Yeah. I mean, that's awesome, being the yep. first American in space. I can't imagine being the first one to get up into space. Like, no. 
like one of those people you're just like you stand up into space and you're like oh wow i'm i'm in the middle of the blackness right <laughs> well and i figured like you were there to see all the all the rockets the, like the unmanned ones like shooting up and blowing up and all those yeah. kind of bad things happening and then you go oh yeah and then they're like you got it like like it's good this time i I'll swear just, i'll just go i I'll promise go. this one's going up like yeah. this one's gonna no but those guys were cowboys i mean i'll tell you what like the the early like uh test Bro, pilots yeah. and all that and and actually there was a lot of female pilots as well like i say uh -huh. those guys well the, those early astronauts were guys but uh but the, the test pilots there was a ton of women too yeah those people were just basically hooking a rocket to their backside and just going oh i, I mean, mean pioneers oh, when it comes yeah. to just the science industry like yeah. Absolutely. Wouldn't nearly be where we're at now if it wasn't for those people. Brave, brave souls. Well, the I, next one I do not know. have those, that kind of bravery in me. <laughs> I, uh, I, don't, <laughs> I don't think so. I, I, I cling to life better more than that. We got 20 <laughs> seconds left to get rolled here in this double hump camel game that we're pretty excited about. We got a major jackpot that's 14, over 14,000, almost 14, five. And then we got a minor jackpot, 3,196 balls that you can hit in 56 balls. Look at that mega getting closer and closer to that 110, the elusive 110,000 mark uh, that we're looking to see it hit. And that must go is at $128.40. Well, the next birthday on our list, we already basically said it because it's a national day as well. And that is 1928, Mickey Mouse's birthday. So once again, happy birthday, Mickey Mouse. Word. That's just that's what word that, to your so, mother. Someone, someone's playing as the name word right oh, now, and so right. then I was kind of like, you know, what? I'm gonna use this as the response. There it's you go. Mickey Mouse's birthday. Word, word. There's Kona out there <laughs> at the house of pizza in Sartel, uh, and Fletch is playing with T Money's out there. Fcon, that's a former jackpot winner. Uh, good to see all of you guys out there. Spin Dog just won recently. Oh yeah. yeah, I remember that. Got a couple wins maybe last night, was it? Uh, um, I don't know. Anyways, I think I've seen Spin Dog win a couple times recently. The girls out there, good to have you out there, girls. Uh, Conrad and a yeah. bunch of you guys. Whenever I see after. Spin Dog, I always think of just like a dog break dancing. That's a nice thought. And that just brings a smile to my <laughs> face. When I think of break dancing <laughs> dogs. Yeah, on this wonderful hump. Game on a hump day. That's right. It's a double hump camel game. Uh, yeah. And we got Bud Light trademarked, of course, uh, playing over at Eagles, Awantana. And so good to see you out there, Boop and Daytona. Good to see everybody out there playing. And what's our next celebrity we got here? Our next celebrity birthday is Linda Evans. Oh, yeah. Actress. Uh, Played in many different uh, uh, stuff. Uh, was in uh, Di the show Dynasty. She's famous from that show. Like yes. that was a huge series. Yeah, that too. was a huge. Was also in the show The Big Valley. Mm. Um, Tom Horn looked to be, looks to be her biggest movie that she was in. Okay. Um, and was in a whole a bunch of other things in the uh, uh, 1980s, time. 1990s. Look at that! Getting that Musco prize, one hundred twenty-eight dollars and forty cents is. Famous player out there, Soupy, over at Hanska Municipal. Well, Soupy, you know, celebrate your day since one of your uh, fellow soups are uh, out there. It's uh, since it's National Vichy Soiz. Yes, Vichy Soiz soup. Serve it cold, serve it hot, however you like it, but make sure you enjoy it. It is your day today. Pureed leeks. I don't know that I've ever had pureed leeks. Yeah, I don't necessarily know what leeks are. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure either. I'd have to look that up. <laughs> well, uh, another one of our national happy uh, happy birthday, Linda Evans, born in 1942. In 1939, Margaret Atwood, uh, who's an author, was also born uh, ah. on this very day. I actually, the one that we're going to do after this, uh, after Margaret Atwood, we've done Lynn Evans, yeah, the, the very last celebrity birthday, it's actually someone I've met before. Really? Mm -hmm. uh, our next celebrity birthday is Kevin Lee, Lee, Neelan. Leland. Neeland. Oh, Neeland. Oh, I know this guy. This guy's in so many different things. Yeah, yeah. Funny okay. actor, he's yeah, on SNL. really funny actor, like mostly known for SN his SNL skits, but he was also in so many different things, such as uh, Man with a Plan, Happy Gilmore, 
Um, he's in a lot of Adam Sandler stuff. Yeah, I think they were on, of course, uh, SNL together. Yes, uh, and I know that Adam Sandler likes to bring a lot of his friends from like that he's met over the years to go do his new and like whatever movie he's he doing. He brings tons of, got- of people into the show. Well, like uh, Dan Patrick, you know, sports guy. Uh-huh. Uh, he always brings Dan Patrick's into his shows. Oh, yeah. yeah so. Just because yeah. they're friends. And yeah. so then he just brings them in. It's super cool. Yeah. I like how Adam Sandler does that all the time. Yeah. No, it's, and it's plus, so he's now become such good friends with so many different, like, actually, like, really good comedians, too, yeah. that it creates for a really funny concept that he has going on. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's it's a, it's super fun. But, yeah, I did meet uh, Kevin Nealon one time, and he was super nice um, when I met him. So, ah. that was cool. Yep. Oh, 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 Nikki's checking in. We're back to Nikki's <laughs> Angels. Not to get too excited, but, you know, <laughs> sorry, Tony's telemarketers, but get out of the way. <laughs> Nikki's Angels is back in town. A special appearance of the <laughs> Nikki Network coming in on a game number eight. You may want to buy a card if you haven't gotten one yet because that means this is a special game because we got Nikki checking in here on a game oh, yeah. number eight. So we got they, eight I mean, they, if we would have given out a jackpot, Ben, it just wouldn't have felt normal if we couldn't celebrate with Nikki. That's true. That's true. We've celebrated a lot of jackpots uh with Nikki's, that is for sure. Yeah, uh, the latest jackpot that we didn't get to celebrate with Nikki necessarily, no. but we celebrated watching uh, Cash Crew 2 win it, and you were on the production side. Was, that yeah. was uh, Greg uh, earlier today uh, winning over at uh, Holdsford Municipal Liquor Store. Uh, Greg won $10,062 over yeah. in Vikings Bingo. He did. Yeah, it was over ten k. Nice, nice win on that. Well, you know what's funny? When I saw what this day in history was, Uh there's been a lot of conversation lately on our broadcast. Not just our broadcast, but Cash Crew 2 on the Tony and Uh Nikki's on Megasota Game Night. There's been this, this, this whole conversation about daylight savings and about time zones and all that. Yeah. Well, that's as much of a tease as I can give to this uh, without revealing it. Am I saying it or are you saying it? Yeah, I'll let you say it. Okay, here it is. On November 18th, 1883, at exactly noon, uh, American and Canadian railroads began using four continental time zones to end the confusion of dealing with thousands of local times. The bold move was emblematic of the power shared by the railroad companies. So they just, these railroad companies, just to solve this whole time Uh issue because different towns were just keeping time in different ways. Yeah. But they had to run a rail road system all the way across the country. Yeah. And so what they did was they created the the time zones and said, That's super cool. Here it's this time, here it's this time, and da-da-da. And uh, obviously they put a lot of thought into it because, you know, it's all based on the sun and all that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. There's a dynasty over at Welch's Big Ten Tavern in Arden Hills. I guess it's Dystony. Dystony? Because at first I thought maybe in honor of Linda Evans' birthday that, uh, you know, that they were, you know, they won that, you know, $146. Oh, no. They won the minor. Oh, woohoo! Over 3,000. Woohoo! Look at Nikki. Nikki hops on and we start giving out jackpots. There we give out that minor jackpot. We, Didn't even know it. We said, we said, Nikki jumped on, so game number eight must be special. And there it goes. Uh, Dystony uh, wins a jackpot. Boom. Nikki just stops in. Boom. It just happens. Yeah, she just walks in, drops the mic, hey, you know, I'll bring the jackpots. We probably won't see Nikki again. I don't know. I mean, that's a mic drop for sure. Oh, yeah. That's a, I mean, good job, Dystony. <laughs> Taking advantage of the hey, Nikki. Now, now I'm feeling Love. a little bit of jackpot hungry. Now I want to get out that major. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's do it right now. That was at Welsh's Big Ten Tavern. Uh, so, yeah. Well, she's saying the must go, but it was 53 and it's off there. No, so she, so Dyson did get that minor jackpot because the, the minor is gone. Oh, yeah. there we go. Yeah, see, we did, she didn't even notice either. We're no. just, we're just a little off our game right now. We are, but I'm back on. I'm on track. Dyson, yeah. Dyson. I mean, Dyson was on track this whole time. Yeah, yeah. Dyson knew what was going on. 
uh, and mm. uh, never lost focus. Went and got bingo, won it in uh, 53 balls, two balls away from getting the major and the minor, but still won that minor. Well, I think Dynasty is so close to Dynasty, and we were celebrating Linda Evans' birthday. And so, and then Nikki checks in on the show, and I just, it was a whole cosmic uh, oh, flow of stuff. And then we started talking about time zones, and, you know, and, and it just happened. I mean, railroad systems setting up the time zones. I mean, it's, it's, and then the, and the, the, Destiny the, won, and, and all that. And then a like, train of money, a money train just came right. Yeah, right and that it. money train was named Dystiny. Dystiny, <laughs> that is correct. Just coming right at it. Just bingo bango. Uh, <laughs> bingo, bingo, bongo. Like, <laughs> well, that was a bingo, if I've ever seen one, over Dyson over at Welch's Big Ten Tavern, winning in game number eight, $3,526. Congratulations to Dyson. Uh, and uh, and uh, great, great job over there at Welch's. Uh, good, good job. Oh, yeah. Well, after giving out that uh, jackpot, let's go over those uh Mega Bar Bingo player and location standings again. Yes, let's do so it. So for those players that didn't show showed up a little late, didn't get the first time, or you know, are just curious how things are rolling. Yeah. Um, in uh, our Mega Bar Bingo location standings, in tenth place we have the Underground Bar and Grill in Mankato, and also in tenth place is St. Cloud Eagles. In ninth place we have VFW Austin. In eighth place, Monty Sports Bar in Spring Lake Park. Seventh place, Riverboat Depot in Sartell. In sixth place, we have VFW Brooklyn Park. In fifth place, the Bar Hastings. I saw them get a win earlier today. Yes. Um, in fourth place, American Legion Fridley. In third place, Eagles Oantana. They got two wins today. And in second place, we have Neeson's Gaylord. And in first place, Carboni's Pizza, CR Billiards. And I know they always get wins every night, but they got a win tonight as well. They did. Well, our player standings sit as follows. In ninth place, we got a tie between Andy and Mickey. In eighth place, Forget You D. In fifth place, another tie is Wolfstein, Towley, and Mrs. T. A three-way tie on that one. Michelob is in fourth place. Mr. Yags is in third place. Yags 370 was 17,000 points. Just 1,000 ahead of Michelob. In second place, Mrs. Yags with 19,000 points, but we know she got that win tonight to go to 20,000 points. Just sitting 1,000 below Spanky with 21,000 points over at American Legion Fridley. We'll see how the night continues to unfold. Uh, yeah, so there's going to be at least a little point movement in our leaderboard. We don't know if there's going to be any place movement or could Mrs. Yags get another win and tie it up with uh, with with Spanky? Could Mr. Yags get a couple wins and get back up with uh, Mrs. Yags? We don't know, but we will see. So uh, we are rolling here on a game number nine of 13. Oh, yeah. Well, one of the things I saw today, uh, we're in that must-go of $101.20. Sense. There's Nelly, Batman, and I Raw out there. Is it? Yeah, I Raw uh, mm -hmm. out there playing. There and it is. There's Funk. We got Funk over at Carboni's Pizza. C R. We got Funk. Billards. Uh, I think it's billiards. I think that, I don't know what happened there. There's just a misspelling or something. Yeah, they just confused me a little bit. I I, I stopped because I was like, that's not. Yeah, I don't, know what, I don't know what happened there, but yeah, it, uh, so one Funk, been winning a lot lately, winning $101 there in game number nine. That means we're going into game number 10 already. Can't believe we're in the double digits already. Dang, we're already on game number 10. Yeah, of a hump day broadcast. It is moving fast. We got just under two and a half minutes left to get enrolled in that game. We got a major jackpot that's at 51 balls it can be hit, and it's getting real close to 15K. So we'll see how that goes. That miner just went out to Dystiny over at Welsh's Big Ten. Uh, and uh, so that's growing back up. It's already up to $225. It can be hit that, 50 balls. That only needs $1,000 to click up to 51 balls. And then... Yeah, it'd be actually 52 balls. Yeah, so 52. If you, if you hit it in 51, uh, you'd get both. Uh, right now, you could actually... If you, hit the, if you hit the miner, you'd get the major as well but if yes. you hit the major you don't necessarily get the minor yeah you need it rare. but you need to hit it in rare. a very 
very condensed spot to be able to hit the major and not hit the minor. It would, you, there's only one option, only just, 51 balls. Yeah, you just you just hit it on the 51 balls. So that's right. Yeah. Uh, well, um, I saw the Bears out there earlier, so yes. might as well bring up some Vikings action because they played the Bears this week. They did. Yeah, and they had a really nice game. I thought it was... It was, uh, I mean, Bears, uh, sloppy games is just what the Bears do to people. Right, because they got great defense. And they yeah. win those games most of the time, obviously, because yeah. they are they were 6-3 and three going into the game. They, they were 5-4. Uh, 5-4 five and, four. Five and four going into that game. At one point, the Bears were 5-1. and one. Yeah. And now they're 5-5. Five and five. Yeah, I mean, they've, they've really been struggling these last couple of weeks, and the Vikings took advantage of it, uh, stretching their uh, – winning streak to three games now yeah looking good really look good and that's why their power rankings have been moving up i grabbed a couple of the nfl power rankings out there uh just to see what they they had to say about okay. it yeah so uh yahoo sports nfl power rankings they have them at 16 uh which is one spot up from when they were last week uh so frank schwab says the vikings won't be fun to play for future opponents they have three legitimate stars on offense dalvin cook Justin Jefferson and Adam Thielen and Mike Zimmer's young defense is getting better. Oh, yeah. So uh, I think that's all true. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I think that's all true. And that young defense really has been showing growth every single week. Yeah. Um, I think that is a big due to how well the linebacking play from uh, – Kendricks is yes. I mean, he's that he's that centerpiece of that entire defense. And I think Harrison uh, Smith has been playing well. Oh, for that game. teaching those young DBs. Yeah. I mean, he's been really stepping up that way. Yep. Um, yep. Uh, CBS Sports has them also ranked at number sixteen, uh, three spots up from last week's ranking. Yep. Uh, Pete uh, Persiro. Um, uh, with three said with three straight victories and a soft three game stretch coming up, they have turned their season around and are have a real playoff chance now. Yeah, because they really, I mean, if they win these next three games, which are all winnable games, it doesn't mean, oh, I mean yeah. every game's tough in the NFL, right? But uh, but if they can win these next three games, you know, they actually end up at seven and five. You're sitting pretty good at seven and five. Oh yeah, when when they traded a uh, Ninjaku, mm -hmm. I thought, wow, they're trading to end their season. Like right. they're trading to to tank the rest of the season, mm -hmm. get a good get good draft picks, maybe get one of these young quarterbacks that are coming into the league this year. And uh, maybe pick up some more defensive help right. through the draft, trade away, get picks, and uh, try to build on this young uh, core that you already have. Yeah. And what they're showing me now is that they're not saying, hey, we're not going to rebuild. We're going to just keep on pushing through, yep. and we're going to get better throughout the season and still make the playoffs. Yeah. I mean, I, th I think it's been really good to watch the Vikings play to the – to the ability that we thought coming into the season that they yeah. could play with. Well, uh, if they, you know, to go from one and five, if they were able to go to seven and uh, five from that oh, one it would five be insane. start, then I think uh, that would be amazing. And they would be on such a hot streak that I think every team would have to be scared of playing. Oh, them. I would be scared to but, play them if you got yeah. stuck with them in the wild card. Yeah. Oh, uh, there's CJE over at Ard Ardvark's Bar and Grill and Truman. Good job, CJE. Yeah, congratulations. That means we're going into game number 11 here on 13 games on a hump day. Happy hour broadcast. Looking forward to uh, uh, a couple more games here with you guys. I can't believe we've gotten through this so fast. That major keeps on getting bigger. Uh, we, you guys just keep on enrolling, and that's getting so close to fifteen thousand oh. dollars so uh just over two and a half minutes left to get rolled in or just under two and a half minutes left to get rolled in this next game and uh, good to see everybody out there playing well look at that mega jackpot too and if i understood that correctly like i said i think at one hundred and ten thousand dollars the next game it rolls up to 48 balls and look at we're already at over a hundred and nine thousand dollars on that, so that is uh, that is possible to get there very very soon. Well, we got a couple of Vikings players that are in the top three in their position, yeah. PFF grade wise. Yes. What's one of those players? Yeah. Well, uh, Delvin Cook was number one coming into last yes. week. 
He did slip a little bit, but he stayed in the top three. And uh, he is uh, the number third ranked running back in the NFL. And I see this. This is what happened was the Bears, uh, they just decided to – that they were they were not going to get beat, and they got a great D line. Oh but yeah, they were not going to get beat by Dalvin Cook, and they said, "You beat us uh, with uh, with Kirk Cousins, and we'll take the loss." And uh, that's exactly what happened. Kirk Cousins played a heck of a game. Uh, you know, he had two touchdowns. I mean, uh, Cleo Mack uh, just just robbed the pocket of Alan Thielen to get the one interception. Oh but, yeah, uh, Kirk threw two touchdowns. Very efficient. Uh, played a great game. When Delvin Cook couldn't get the yards, uh, Kirk Cousin was ready to strap that on his back, get that eight years of uh, bad luck on Monday Night Football off him, and go out and get the win. So, uh, But Delvin Cook, I think he'll be back this next week uh, putting up some big, big yardage oh, up yeah. against those Cowboys. Um, I would not be surprised. I mean, that to Cowboys see secondary has been uh, struggling, and they're just run defense, and the entire defense has been really struggling. Yeah. Cowboys have been struggling in general. Good news for the Cowboys, though, is Andy Dalton's been practicing. Yeah, that is very good news for them, as uh, they were into their third string quarterback uh, here recently. And Andy Dalton, he's a starting caliber quarterback. He's yeah. just uh, he's just not like a game changer. No, no, he's a good quarterback, and uh, and he definitely is a starter level. He's he's one of the thirty-two best quarterbacks in the world, I think. Oh yeah, uh, for sure. And so uh, so that'll help them if he's back. But uh, but uh, I like our shot against the Cowboys. Cowboys just two and seven on the season. There was a lot of people that thought they were a, a Super Bowl contender coming into the season. Of course, the compound fracture on Dak Prescott's ankle uh, did not help them any. Then everyone thought, well, they got Andy Dalton right behind them, so they oh, yeah, not a they, big drop off. But uh, Andy Dalton can't do it with the line that the Cowboys have right now. No. If they can get a couple guys more healthy for that line, then I could see them being a actual force to reckon with. But right now, I think Vikings sh- should have the win this next week. Yeah, because the Cowboys have a ton of talent on that offense with you know Zeke in the backfield, and you got all oh, those that wide receivers. receivers. I mean. The- Probably the best receiving room in the league. Well, one through four, it's got to be. I mean, I you mean, say, yeah. Uh, I mean, there's teams that have better duos. Yes. But not when you're talking about all the way down through the depth chart. Absolutely. Well, there's Rakesha, Smoke, Jimmy, Joke, Crazy with a K, Minnie. Uh, oh, and I wonder if that's in honor of Mickey Mouse's birthday. Yeah, ah. Minnie out there playing a little bingo. There's Cancer Sucks. Good to see you, Cancer Sucks. Spin Dog, Lucky Bar, Wolstein, Mrs. Yaks, a bunch of our top players. Michelob, there's Michelob, and Rakisha in the funk, who already got a win earlier today. Yeah. Beer Man, uh, who's won recently as well. So Good to uh, see Michelob out there. Yeah, absolutely. Well, um, yeah, so uh, there's another player that's uh, that's in the oh, top. Oh, yeah, the and days. that is uh, Justin Jefferson was the number two wide receiver last week, and he stays that way. He's the number two receiver in the PFF grades uh, for this year out of all receivers. I mean, Amazing. that is impressive for a rookie receiver to have that kind of production. I think he's been absolutely stellar for the Vikings this year yeah. and is going to be one of the best uh, wide receivers in the NFL, I think. Yeah, I think so. He just uh, continues to impress all year long. Well, uh, the Vikings did open up as an eight and a half point favorite over the Cowboys. And there it is, D's over at Broadway Pizza in Coon Rapids. Uh, congratulations, D's, on that $99.40 must go prize, which means we're getting in the game number 12 here, 12 of 13. Oh, Just yeah. Just two games left. Make sure you get enrolled. Make sure you push play. You can't win if you don't play. And that jackpot, like I say, is getting closer and closer to $15,000 on that major. All right, we'll be on a quick break and we'll be right back.
Hey, hey. There we go. Look at it. Got 105 of you guys out there playing. Look at how close we are to $15,000. That's $14,990 if you can win that in 51 balls. It's already at $500 already on that miner. Oh, that's been growing fast. Yeah, it has. And we got a $101 must go. There's our jackpot winner from earlier, Dystiny, uh, out there on the leaderboard again. Good to see out there again, Dystiny. And, uh, yeah, we are uh, – we do have a, a, a great charity spotlight this week. Uh, uh -huh. The Knights of Columbus. Their charitable activities encompass local, national, and international projects. They do things like Special Olympics, the Global Wheelchair Mission, and Habitat for Humanity, in, in addition to their own Food for Families and Coats for Kids projects and other local charities that they uh, give money to and help out. So if you're playing at the Knights of Columbus Awantana or the Knights of Columbus Bloomington, uh, you are giving to a worthy, worthy cause. I mean, so. that's a great cause. I mean, the Knights of Columbus, they do so many good things. Yep, yep, for sure. Um, great to be partnering up with yeah. charities and like the, that. And the even better thing is that you guys are all supporting charities. I mean, absolutely Wherever killing it. Playing bingo and supporting a charity, helping your community out. As we say at the end of every single show, we say, remember when you play pilot games, your community wins. And I mean, it really does. It certainly does. Well, you know, we had uh, we had basically back-to-back -back bingo palooza days, Monday and Tuesday, because we had Monday night football. And then we had, of course, our Megasota game night, the biggest bingo night of the week in Minnesota. So uh, we uh, we had a big shakeups over the course of those two days. Oh in our yeah, and standings. some people joined the, the Million Point Club. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they did. Well, let me go over these PGL. That is the Pilot Gambling League. These are the top ten locations in the entire state of Minnesota. And uh, so I'm gonna go over that. Jumping into their top ten, they had been in there before. Then back out. Now back in is in 10th place, the Rusty Nail, Thief River Falls. And there's Conrad over at Aardvark's Bar and Grill taking that Musco prize of $101. Good job, Conrad. And you can get back on those location sales. Okay, because that means we're going to get enrolled for our last final game of Jackpot 100 here on a hump day broadcast. And so uh, make sure you get enrolled. It's the last opportunity you get on this Wednesday oh, night. It is actually already game number 13. I, I was thinking it was game number 12 or game number 11. Nope. It's already game number 13. It flies by with you guys when you're having fun. Lucky and 13, we, yeah. And we gave out a jackpot. This has been a super lucky game for us. We've given out a lot of jackpots on the last game of Jackpot 100. Lucky 13 has been a true, true statement. Well, you got just over two minutes to get enrolled in this lucky game here. Uh, it's over $15,000 now on that jackpot if we can hit this in 51 balls. And that... Uh, Miner has already grown up to over $600 if we can do this in 50 balls. So we'll see how that goes. I was telling you guys about the shakeups in the PGL standings. Well, uh, in 10th place, like I said, jumping into that top 10 is Rusty Nail in Three River Falls. In 9th place is the Roseville VFW, moving up from 10th place into 9th. Moving up from 9th place into 10th is Vicks Bar and Grill in Moorhead. Moving up from Eighth place to seventh is Valley Lanes in Spring Valley. It staying in sixth place is St. Cloud Moose Club. In fifth place, Sheps on sixth in Brainerd. In fourth place, Neighbors Pub Dover in Dover Mills. In third place, La Playette at St. Joseph's. In second place, the Cabin Bar in Nicolette. In the first place, uh, seems like been there uh, for so, so long, oh, yeah. is Neighborhood Tavern in Affy. Now, here's where the, the shakeups happen. Yes. I mean, some really big shakeups happen Absolutely. in our PGL player standings. Ooh, I stuff. mean, stuff has went wild over there. I mean, uh, in 10th place, not ranked before. And I don't know if I've seen them I ranked before. I don't think before. they were ranked at all. I, I, ta I remember I talked about them on Tuesday morning. Yeah. And I was like, hey, go fish. Uh, fish. Uh, Fishy24, go play some, uh, go fish out on uh, Big Wampum Lake. Yeah, You'll probably you get some luck. All right, and yeah. now Fishy24 is in our top 10 for yes, our. The fish uh, were biting. Yeah, it really were. Uh, Fishy24 is playing our over at uh, Sharpie Sports Saloon 
Um, in ninth place, we have longtime player Bryzo over at the Underground Bar and Grill. Bryzo took a took a must go prize home today. Yes. Yes. Um, in and now we are going into our million point club. But is it? Uh, am I going to be talking about some new players first? No, I will not be. It is in eighth place. We have Worksies, who is already in our million point club at fifth place. Yeah. But a bunch of players played so good those last two, uh, last two days that people have passed him now. Oh. In seventh place, we have Bones over at Duffy's Barn Grill. In sixth place, we have McBessa. Um, in fifth in fifth place was in seventh place is Ramrod. Mm -hmm. In fourth place. Uh, is forget you D in third place was in sixth place wow. so moved up three whole spots wow. is drum skeet over at, one tonight he yeah over at the underground bar and grill mm -hmm. um then in second place uh has held on to second place for a while now yeah. former champion Sarah honey over at Eagles Austin mm -hmm. and then in first place we have cancer sucks over at Clearwater Corners, Cancer Sucks plays uh, was playing tonight. Plays yeah. all of our bingo pretty much, and just yeah. absolutely kills it night in, night and out. And I'll tell you what, she's she's moved to the point now where she's closer to that two million points than one million point now. Oh, yeah. Cancer Sucks is good. Yeah, no, she has been after it all year long. So, uh, congratulations to all of our top ten players. Eight players now in our million point club. Congratulations to all of our players, and congratulations to Fishy24 uh, getting into that top 10. Oh, yeah. So there we go. That is your Pilot Gambling League top 10 players and locations in the state of Minnesota. We are into this must-go prize on game number 13 of $122.20. It's going to wrap. That's going to – someone's going to win that to end our hump day happy hour broadcast we've been having so much fun with you oh guys. yeah so, i see bah humbug out there playing <laughs> over at the gray fox uh good to have you with us bah humbug and hope you have a great christmas and this year. there's irish over at stadium sports bar in white bear lake we play for the irish we like we, we coach, coach for the irish, for the irish yeah. i mean we coach for the irish so good job uh playing as the irish and the getting irish. the last win for that 100 $22.20 must-go coverall. Good job, Irish. Yeah, the look of the Irish was in full effect on that game. Oh, yeah. And, and that's the end of our last game. I can't believe it. It's moved so fast. And we're done. Uh, remember, when you play pilot games, your community wins. Have a good night, guys. Bye, guys.